from the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio. I'm Justin Kopsack. Today we're going to talk about Fallen Timbers, the Treaty of Greenville, and the War of 1812. For years following the American Revolution, the British continued to supply weapons to the American Indians from their military outposts in Canada, allowing native tribes to continue to fight against the Americans. A coalition of American Indians rejected the Americans' claim that the Treaty of Paris gave the United States title land to Indian lands in the Ohio Valley. Tribal leaders such as Blue Jacket and Little Turtle fought to resist the flood of American settlers into the region. After initial victories against the American army, the coalition was defeated at the Battle of Fallen Timbers. Many tribes signed the Treaty of Greenville, giving up their claims to much of their land in Ohio. Others with British aid continued to fight to defend their lands. Tecumseh and his brother the Prophet attempted to form a new Indian confederacy, but they suffered a serious defeat at the Battle of Tippecanoe, leaving the confederacy in a weakened state. The United States declared war on Great Britain in June of 1812. Fort Miggs was constructed along the Maumee River as a staging area for an invasion of British Canada. British troops and Indian warriors attacked the fort but were defeated. Oliver Hazard Perry and American sailors defeated the British Navy at the Battle of Lake Erie in 1813. The British could no longer provide American Indians with weapons to continue the fight. Indian resistance to the American settlement of Ohio ended with the Battle of Lake Erie. From the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio, I'm Justin Kopsack. Thank you for watching.